Whoa, it's getting explosive in Italy at Campi Fligri, the super volcano that keeps rumbling. Another magnitude 3.2 earthquake today. We just had one yesterday. There's a massive earthquake swarm going on right now. But that's not all, guys. There is something creeping. Is the volcano breaking through? Is it breaking apart the infrastructure? Is it breaking into the densely populated areas? And are these fumaroles coming out everywhere now? We had an incident today where the road was broken off and a fumarole was coming out. So what is this? We know there's increased pressure at Campi Fligri. We will talk about this in this video because that is quite unique. A strong smell of sulfur was coming out from the damaged road and you see a lot of steam. So like a fumarole, like in the Solfatara area and that incident was near the Solfatara area, where we also see the epicenters of all these earthquakes. And we've seen study after study after study that the pressure is building up, that more is coming towards the surface, that the surface is even more vulnerable than previously thought, that it's really, really brittle. Another study found a weak spot where it would be easy for magma to find a way to the surface and I will have to put some of these studies in the end screen because my last video that I made about the most recent study, my conclusion was run while you still can. So what is going on? It's in Italy, beautiful Italy. It's the main season right now, beautiful weather, tourist season. The Campi Fligri super volcano is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. You're also talking about Yellowstone all the time, but Campi Fligri says, hold my beer. And it has proven that in the past. And it's showing or it has been showing growing signs of activity at least since 2005. And it's accelerating and it's increasing. And Recent studies also suggest that past eruptions were more frequent and powerful than previously thought. And now we have these ongoing seismic swarms, the land rise that is ongoing, and it raises concerns about future risk. And more and more incidents are occurring. And one thing I want to make clear and why this is so important, the scientists and now even the INGV that has always been trying to calm down have said we could see a phreatic eruption. Not maybe the super volcanic eruption, but a phreatic eruption. But another study has shown us how Monte Nuovo was created. That's the youngest crater there. It started with a phreatic eruption that was making the way, bursting the pipe for the magma to come through and produce an even larger eruption. And that's why what happened today is something we really need to watch out for. It's really, really critical. So here's what happened, guys. This has been all over the press today via Antiniana. It's a vital artery that is connecting Naples with the Fligrian area, with Pozzoli and all these areas, has suffered a collapse, how they called it, on the evening of Thursday, June 5th. And law enforcement and municipal technicians, they said, are on site, and they already started working in the night on alternative traffic routes. And road repair work was scheduled to begin this morning. And the affected area is part of Campi Fligri's Brady Seismic Zone. That area where the land is rising, where we see all the earthquakes, the epicenters, where the Solfatara area is, Pischiarelli, with all these active fumaroles. And we know the pressure is increasing like a pressure cooker. So the road had recently been resurfaced, but in this case, according to what some technici technicians told the member of parliament, Francesco Borelli, he has visited the site. There's sulfur emitted by the fumaroles, along with presumably high temperatures. So all this together has damaged the upper layer of the asphalt of the roads. And we know that this is all during this intense earthquake swarm that is happening. All the tremors are clearly felt by the population. So heated discussions are taking place right now. What is this? Where is this coming from? Then the municipality of Pozzuoli has just released a statement and they said, 
The Fumaroli on Via Antoniana was caused by a manhole blown open after the earthquakes. The road was reopened. So there is a Fumaroli. That's a fact. Doesn't matter how it was created. But they said it was caused by a manhole that burst and that the work to resurface the road has already started. And then woof, the social media comments have exploded. And they said, is this really wise to put a lid on a fumarole with a volcanic system that is already building up pressure, like a pressure cooker that's about to burst? So it was a sulfur fumarole with strong sulfur smell. Many people have reported about this. And it seems to be related to that seismic swarm that has made that that ground more instabili instable. And we've had a 3.2 on Thursday, we've had just a, another 3.2 on Friday. So they said it's a manhole, it's no sinkhole, or it's not a collapse of the road. But there is a discussion, many people don't believe that. But either way, we have a fumarole there. So sources have also said, oh yeah, construction road work has already been underway in the area for several days. The road had already been partially narrowed for the replacement of underground pipes. And at some point Thursday night, according to the municipal technicians, a manhole suddenly blew open and it's not clear whether this was due to the ongoing construction or the earthquakes that were caused by this massive earthquake swarm. So fact is a sulfur fumarole then emerged from underground and there are several other fumaroles in the area already. They have been cataloged by scientists and the incident has severely alarmed local residents. But the municipality says it's a normal occurrence. Well, it's not really normal, especially not if you live on top of a volcano. Highly, highly densely populated. That is the problem. Scientists have been calling since 2018, evacuate at least the red zone. This would be this area. Calls were just, they keep coming from seasoned, high-level scientists that even work for the INGV. So they closed the Via Antiniana temporarily. But already this morning, two-way traffic had already been restored with a slight narrowing of the road to allow passage of cement trucks for resurfacing. Shouldn't they do a little bit of a deeper investigation before they close it up? Because this can really blow up. And uh, yeah, Member of Parliament, Francesco Emilio Borelli, who visited the site, he was there at the scene shortly after the event. And he was also the one that reported a collapse of the newly resurfaced road, but that this was caused by the release of sulfur gas. And he says now we demand clarity, but clarity about what? And this is the interesting part. There were drilling activities in the area in the past years. So he says, we want clarity about these activities. What has happened there? Safety work should begin today. So he summarized it as follows, and this is what he thinks is happening. He said, on Thursday evening, the pavement of the Via Antiniana, a key road linking Naples and the Fligrian area, partially collapsed despite having been resurfaced. So initial technical inspections suggest the damage may have been caused by sulfur gases released from fumaroles in the area. And then that these gases have already worked on the concrete and that was worsened by high temperatures that have been recorded in the recent days. Residents have raised the alarm. They are concerned about the stability and the safety of this area that is already under strain from this Brady seism, which has been affecting severely Campi Fligri for months now with basically constant earthquake swarms. And of course, law enforcement and municipal technicians, yeah, they are on the scene. And they say what they always say, we monitor the situation closely, restoration work is, is being done. But what the member of parliament says, additional, we want to know if the past experimental geothermal drilling in this very area which once has already caused gas emissions and even a geyser, 
may have contributed to this extraordinary release of sulfur. Extraordinary. And we hear from Professor Mastro Lorenzo again. He's the one who wants this area evacuated. He's been begging the last few months, at least the red area, please. And he also said, you have to prepare for an eruption. You can't just ignore that. You can't only say, oh, this is just earthquakes. What is causing the earthquakes? That's the monster underneath. And he said today, he said, in, in our view and in that of many other scientists, those drillings were a serious mistake, an act of irresponsibility in an area of extremely high seismic and volcanic risk. So densely populated, if something goes wrong, you have a problem. And he says this incident highlights the need for well-structured monitoring and prevention strategy, one that prioritizes the safety of citizens and prevents reckless, how he calls it, experiments or opaque projects from worsening an already fragile situation. So I think we will hear more about that. I don't think this isn't over yet because this sounds definitely scary. We have so many studies that are pointing out this sharp increase in like burst-like seismic swarms and ground uplift extremely, especially since 2021. And they say this is continued volcanic unrest. So what's the big picture? Cal Campi Flegri is a massive caldera that's basically spanning the Bay of Pozzuoli just west of Naples an area with more than 6 million people. And unlike a single volcano, Campi Flegri consists of a network of craters and fumaroles. And the region, just the, the red area, I mean, they redefine the red area. Sometimes it's 80,000 people, sometimes it's 500, sometimes 750,000 people. But really the highly endangered area is like 500,000 people. And that makes any eruption even a phreatic eruption, which can be very, very dangerous, a significant threat. And the recent research adds to it. Recent research found just an unknown eruption of Campi Flegri. And why is this so important? Because it tells us Campi Flegri is erupting more frequently than previously thought. There's a recent paper that has been published in the Communications Earth and Environment. It describes an X sec six eruption that occurred approximately 109,000 years ago. And the eruption was nearly as large as the one that formed the caldera 40,000 years ago. Has produced an enormous layer of ash and pyroclastic flow deposits, has covered large parts of the Campanian plain, that's this area. So they said, of course, there's a large uncertainty when exactly, but by a wide margin, this is at least a second largest explosive event that has occurred at the Campi Flegri area. So the experts are saying this changes the perception of the risk at the Campi Flegri being active again. And these increasing seismic swarms, the ground uplift, the increases in gas emission, the heating up of the fumaroles, it tells us that there's ongoing changes going on underneath Campi Flegri. Over 21,000 earthquakes between 2021 and 2025, with magnitudes up to 4.6. Ground uplift has reached a meter 50, over 4 point something feet since 2005, with a monthly rate between 1.5, sometimes 2, sometimes 3 centimeters per month, like an inch. And these burst like seismic swarms, which occur in rapid sequences. We just had it today, like three to four earthquakes in just 10 minutes that have rattled homes. And I have heard from a tour guide that she's scared. She's leading tourists in the area and she says, my home has cracks everywhere. I'm scared. And I want to read you what one of my viewers has posted regarding the situation in Naples. He said, I just went to Napoli to see what is happening by myself. It's everything Silky speaks about and much more. Cracks and broken walls are everywhere. Holes in the roads, yet less in pavements. But the worst, the attitude of the people in Naples, they are in complete denial. They believe it is 
just as usual. Yeah, and they are being told by many officials. They are not stupid. They know it is dangerous, but they're in this la 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 kind of attitude that shows that deep inside many are simply terrified at the ramifications and have no clue what to do it is earth shattering life altering and life changing the end of an area we must find a new piece of earth for the people of Naples to emigrate to to repopulate and conserve their own cultural identity we need export we need to export Naples somewhere or we might lose them all for good. Some Greeks should follow too. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the only solution if you really want to be safe. So researchers are telling us similar swarms like we're seeing here at Campi Flegre and what we're seeing right now in other volcanic systems have been linked to phreatic explosions or critical phases of unrest. But here everyone says it's normal. It's not normal. Plus the increased hydrothermal activity. They're very worried about future eruptions. CO2 emissions have reached almost 1,600 tons per day. That matches levels seen in active volcanoes with open conduits. Seismic swarms are concentrated in the hydrothermal area, suggesting a connection between fluid pressure fluctuations and ground instability. So that is scary for this highly densely populated region. So guys, I will keep you updated about this. I'm staying on the pulse for you, but check out my other videos too. Um, you should know something about Etna. It's breaking apart. Nobody's talking about this and it could lead to a big, big catastrophe. Everyone's only talking about the eruptions, but there's going something going on underneath in the water. Check out the video on the end screen. And news from Blatton, check out that video too. New pictures, a, a really high resolution satellite image where we can see the extent it's absolutely crazy when we look into the mountain so it's in the end screen as well so you should really subscribe click on my channel start page go to videos go to recent and then binge watch them if you like the video leave it a like if you want to support the channel guys go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site the link is in the description of this video or join me as a supporting member the link is also there Thank you for your supers. And on the coffee site, there's a special gimmick. If you buy me a coffee, leave me a message. I can answer with a video message. You can answer me back with a video message and we can actually see each other. So I think this is a great feature. So thanks for everyone who's doing this. And I hope to see you safe and sound in the next video, probably here in the end screen. Bye-bye.